Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and I'm here today to talk about my picks for my next round of the Read My Kindle series that I'm doing. Uh, so I will link uh, the first and second uh, ones below. Um, I'll link the wrap-ups. Hopefully you've just seen the second wrap-up. Um, we have a Percy. I have a Fletcher down here. It's all happening. So we're going to jump in today. Originally it was my plan to do uh, four rounds of this this year. We're just going to wait for him to get comfy. Why? I've been sitting here all day and now you're like, I want attention. You could have had cuddles at any point today my friend but it has to be now it has to be <laughs> I love you both you're so cute uh, anyway as I was saying um, what was I saying oh I was gonna do four rounds of this so another two rounds after the last one um, but that one didn't go to plan and so I've decided I'm just going to do this third round here. The original idea was to do this one and then in the fourth round do like a reading all the ones I haven't read sort of thing. But instead this is a whole bunch of new books and I think that I will, I think this will take me till the end of the year if I do get a chance. Uh, in December to read some of those books that I didn't get to then I would love to but I have eight here and with my track record I will probably get through two of these <laughs> but let's jump into it I tried to be a little smarter in the ones that I picked this time um, my problem with the ones that I picked in round one and maybe in round two I haven't filmed my wrap up for that yet um, is that I picked different genres that I don't really read that much or ones that I was kind of vaguely interested in and um, I didn't pick a lot of romance and that is mostly what I've been reading this year so I tried to be smarter in picking these ones there's a mix of ones that I have bought and ones that I have got off KU so we'll jump into it so the first one is, I think it's a Moor actually, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's edited by Mackenzie Walton. It's a romance anthology. I believe the authors are all Latinx, but I'm not 100% confident on that. I know there are a couple of stories about LGBTQIA plus couples in this as well. And it's just romance, contemporary romance, that takes place around Christmas. Um, I'm not sure if there is a, like if they're all separate stories, they're all by different authors, but I don't know if there is a narrative thread between them. Um, one of the authors in this is Alexis Daria, who wrote the, I've forgotten the name of the series, but the first one is you had me at Ola. Um, so I, I really liked that, which is why I bought this back in like February. <laughs> um, but I'm, I don't really read a lot of holiday things, but I feel like this year I'm kind of into holiday romances. So this is one of them that I have on the list. Uh, the next one is Blessed Be the Wicked by Cal Carpenter. This is the sequel to Fortune Favors the Cruel, and I believe it's called the Dark Magi series. I bought this one in July after reading the first one in, or as part of India Chords. I didn't love that first one, which was why I wanted to try this second one. Like, I enjoyed it, but I was mostly just kind of confused. So um, I haven't picked this one up yet and I thought it would be a good chance to do that before the end of the year. 
a lot of these are authors who will be attending uh, two romance events or one of the two that I'm attending next year so I am trying to read through them. Um, I've just said that and now this author has absolutely nothing to do with that but that is Cassandra Speaks by Elizabeth Lesser. This is a non-fiction and I believe it is about Cassandra the um, prophetess um, in I think it's Greek mythology or perhaps Roman I can't really remember um, but she is the um, yeah the prophetess who is never believed um, I don't really know what the angle of this one is I think it's maybe talking about that and like a women in modern day sort of thing um but we will we'll find out <laughs> while we're here we might as well talk about the other authors who aren't part of those events so next up i have up all night which is edited by laura silverman this is another anthology but this is ya i think it's like ya contemporary maybe having something to do with the night and I believe they are romance based um of course that's a very different kind of romance that's going to be in the first one but um this one's been on my kindle for I think maybe a year now and um it's I don't know it seems like a, a good one to pick because it would you know I could read a story here and there and that sounds like a good idea for when I'm like on the train going to work and things like that where I don't necessarily have the time to read a whole chapter of something but I might be able to read like a little short story so there's that and then the other one is Handbook for Dragon Slayers by I think it's Mary Haskell I first heard about this one from Kara from Wild Book Garden. Um, I can't remember, I think she recommended it to me personally because the main lead, our female lead, this is a middle grade fantasy, um, has a club for it. I've talked about this a bit but I feel like I haven't really talked about it recently so if you're kind of newer here. Um, I was born with a club foot, I had a bunch of surgeries and I do not have that anymore I now have something completely different um, but I don't know in the last oh, I don't know five or six years I've seen an increase of books that have club feet and I think that's really fantastic um, because it is something that is surprisingly common it's um you know it's it's definitely out there and um it's nice to see that reflected I've seen a lot of them be middle grades and YA um but I'm always I'm always looking for books that have it um or you know any other type of disability or mental illness or chronic illness or anything like that but this one is specifically close to my heart. I think that I may read this in November um, because I will also be reading a book called Sugar with the Last Read Book Club which is about diabetes which I also have and I feel like I could just read like I could just really see myself in literature for I don't know for a week in November and um I, yeah I will talk about what I think about the representation um in this one once I've read it but I hear good things from Kara and I do trust her so those are those ones and then we're going to go back to the authors that will be at those romance events I should have planned this better but I didn't so let's continue <laughs> Hello, so I'm just jumping in here because I had to change two of the books that I had picked uh, for this section. So one of them, the author ended up jumping out of the event. I still really want to read that book, but I have so many 
authors that I want to read for these events that I thought I would switch that out. Uh, so I will read that probably still by the end of the year, but I'm not going to put it in here because then like if I if I don't get it to it by the end of the year and I just read it next year, that's fine. And then the other one I actually ended up buying a physical copy of, so don't need to read that as an ebook anymore. So I decided to switch them out for these two. So the first one I'm going with is Envy by Lana Pekajek, who will be at two of those events as well. I've read Lana uh, before. She has a Fae Guardian series that I really enjoy. This one is the first book in the Deadly Sins series. This is, I think, more of a sort of like urban fantasy romance, not really sure. But I want to give this one a go and see if it is something that I might enjoy and then purchase. Um, yeah, so that's the purpose of picking this one. And then the other one I went with is Kiss of Steel by Beck McMaster, who I think is going to be at all three of the events that we now have left. Um, so I'm very excited to meet her. This is the first book in a steampunk series. I actually own the second book already. I found it back in May at um, a book event secondhand for a couple of dollars and I bought it um, and I didn't really realize it was the second book but I already knew she would be at those events. Um, so I'm really excited to give this first one a, a go. This is also on KU. So um, I will read that and see how I feel and then I can move on to book two hoping that I enjoy it. And um, there we go, that's something off my TBR as well. So those are the ones I decided to switch out. And now we're going to go back to past Ellie to tell you about, I don't know, whatever I said at the end of this video. <laughs> enjoy it. And then finally, switching it up a little, we're going back to a contemporary romance with Property of the Mountain Man by Gemma Weir, which is a, I think, honestly, this one is just like a small town romance um, sort of thing. And I think it has something to do with, well, I assume it has something to do with mountains. And um, honestly, I have quite a few of these on my TBR at the moment. So I'm trying to think if the kind of idea I have in my head of this one is actually this one or if it's a different one on my TBR. I think it's a different one on my TBR to be honest. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is small town romance and that's, that's all I know. <laughs> so that is it for the eight picks for this one. Um, I am really excited for these. I, I hope that I will have a better time reading these than I have in the last two. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to see how I go with this and then we're going to analyze um, this whole thing and see whether I'm going to do this kind of project next year and what I might tweak and things like that. But for now, that's all. I hope you're all doing super well. I'd love to hear if you've read any of these or if you're interested in um, buddy reading any of them, please let me know. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.